Thank you so much for joining hands with your brothers and sisters across the globe to petition heaven for the people of Africa. Africa desperately needs revival. Africa needs revival. Great awakening. Africa has uh, been an object of ridicule worldwide for centuries. And as children of God, we have this privilege and opportunity to join hands together and petition heaven to send the revival in the continent of Africa from coast to coast. And they thank God that there is a, a sign of light already coming to Africa. We are seeing some movement in Nigeria and other parts of the world. And so we will be praying as, uh, as we have been in the previous months, whereby we begin our prayer. Uh, I will call a, uh, I'll call the prayer by, by set, set by set, and then uh, we, will, uh, we, will, we, will, we will pray as your name is called. When I, when I call you, you'll be able to take on that uh, petition and pray for those uh, prayer points. And before we begin, I want to call upon our brother, uh, Richard uh, Hayes, to open us in prayer. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Father God, once again, we come before your throne to lift up the continent of Africa. But we want to lift it up by the buckle of Nigeria and specifically the focal point of Abuja. And Father, we pray that you will put your mighty hand on the focal point there in Abuja, and let the light begin to shine from there so that it will penetrate throughout the entire continent. Amen. We know that where Nigeria goes, it leads the rest of Africa. Yeah. These things we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm going to have uh, our brother Perry to pray for open heart to the gospel that God would open the hearts of his children to the gospel uh, that uh, the people will respond to the gospel and I'll ask uh, uh, my brother John Cookie to pray that God will send prepared missionaries and sound Bible teachers that God will send missionaries and sound Bible teachers to Africa. And then uh, our brother Say, Pastor Say, will pray that church leaders will abandon falsehood. And our beloved brother Clem will pray that believers will discern between falsehood and truth. Uh, everybody can teach. We have so many teachings going out there in, our, in the continent of Africa. But that believers will have the spirit of discernment to find out what is truth and what is not, and to abandon falsehood. And that will be Brother Perry and uh, John Say and the Brother Claim. Let's join hands with them as we petition heaven for movement. Our Heavenly Father, we can never thank you enough for your love and faithfulness. Thank you for not only waking us up, but continuing to strengthen us each and every day. 
Father, you know in eternity past that we would be here right now, humbly asking for all those that are serving you with all their heart, with all their soul, with all their might, all over Africa, Father, every within every city, every village, every state, every part. Father, you know the ins and outs. We thank you that you're omnipresent. And now, Father, we ask that you would continue to open every door that needs to be opened, close every door that needs to be closed. But most importantly, Father, we pray that you would open the hearts of those that haven't received you yet, that you would continue to strengthen them and guide them, that you continue to prepare them for the future that you've set out. For we know your word, we know your promises, and we're thankful that we can call upon you in days such as these, knowing that there are people who have not accepted you yet, even recognizing that you've given us the free gift, something we don't have to pay for, something that you and you alone paid for on the cross. And so we just pay, pray, Father, that their hearts would be open to your truth, Amen. that they would stop running around endlessly, beating on the air. But we know that because of our prayers, not only that you've heard us, but we thank you in advance for all those who will turn their hearts to you this very day, Father. We know that you've got a wonderful plan, and we're so thankful that you continue to use us as vessels of grace not only for learning your word, not only for praying, not only for fellowship and communion and all the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, but we also pray for those who, who go out of the church with the knowledge that they have, and they reach those in areas that maybe haven't heard yet, but we know that you're going to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to either accept your free gift or not. So we thank you for those who are going to accept it today. For those who are still pondering, Father, we know that many of us, our faith used to be very small, but then as time went on, we trusted you more and more and more. And now here we are petitioning on behalf of those who don't have that strength, knowing that you wrote the words, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. We pray for those missionaries and those right now who are serving you in harm's way. Father, we know that they've already accepted it. We're thankful that you continue to strengthen them in times of need. Also make all the necessary provisions. But those, Father, who have not, we just bring them to your throne room now with an attitude of gratitude and a basket full of thanksgiving in advance for the truth that will set them free. <clears throat> we thank you so much, and we love you, and we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. We're grateful, Heavenly Father, for the privilege and the opportunity to gather like this to bring up this petition concerning missionaries and uh, sound Bible teachers. We appreciate what you've been doing in the body of Christ. We thank you, Lord, for your mercies. We commit missionaries into your hands, O oh Lord, wherever they are right now, Father, that they'll be able to go and commit it. You have a We pray, we pray, Father, that you would um, meet every individual needs of those missionaries, even as they would uh, are looking for conducive uh, times, conducive uh, environment in which they will be able to spread the gospel. Father, they will need finances, open financial uh, avenues for them. Raise up people that will be able to support the missionaries so that they will take this truth to the various nooks and corners of the world of Africa so that people will get to know the truth. And even these missionaries, we ask, O oh Lord, that you would uh, open up avenues for training for them, that they will come in contact with sound Bible teaching that would enable them to be able to present the truth unto the people, provide whatever it will take for them to be able to uh, present this gospel uh, correctly and uh, 
lead the people into the right path. We pray also for sound Bible teachers. Father, there are so many people that have risen up today to claim that they are teaching the truth, but they present this truth in error. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that in a time like this, that as many that are agents of the enemy, agents of Satan, who have come up in one way or the other, claiming that they are presenting the truth, we pray, Father, that you would uh, prevent them in your own way from escalating error. Your word says if we claim that we are in fellowship with you, but yet walk in darkness, that we lie and we practice not the truth. Father, I pray, oh, we pray, O oh Lord, concerning sound Bible teachers, that they would be ready and willing to stand in defense of the truth and also to present the truth unto the people. I pray, O oh Lord, that every sound Bible teacher will be willing to be disciplined to study your word so that we might present this truth accurately, rightly dividing, rightly analyzing the word of truth. Father, raise up some Bible teachers, O oh Lord, for Africa. Africa has been in darkness for so many years. And what Africa needs is the truth. And the truth they will get to know will set them free, will make them free. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, in your own way, raise up sound Bible teachers. May we be willing, O oh Lord, to be disciplined. May we be willing to humble ourselves to come in contact, in contact with those truths. As we study, Father, grant us the retentive memory and open up avenues that we would go into nooks and corners of Africa to be able to present the truth. And as many as will listen to those truths, O oh Lord, we pray, Father, that they would be willing to accept it and also to be willing to spread the truth also to others. Thank you, Father, because we know, O oh Lord, that you've heard us. And because you've heard us, we know you've answered us. So we lift up those things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Precious Father, Glorious and gracious name, our Lord Jesus Christ. First and foremost, we want to thank you, Father, for, for GEM. Thank you for what you are doing through your servant. Thank you for the burden. We're grateful to you, Lord, because your plan and your purpose, your counsel will come to pass. Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for having Africa in mind. The scripture tells us that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. So Africa inclusive. And so Father, where Africa is part and parcel of your plan. Africa is part and parcel of your project. Thank you for what you have begun already. Father, we, we can see it. We can see your work. We can see your move already. We are persuaded. Abu says, faithful is you who has begun a good work that you bring it to finishing. And this is why we have come again this hard to present especially the African Christian leaders before the throne of grace. Father, there are men and women that you are depending on who ought to be true custodians of the gospel, the, the, the custodians of the truth. And women that you are depending on to bring the fulfillment of your counsel as far as Africa is concerned. Uh, their stomach, majority, they will, they will, they will, they will accumulate. 
And so falsehood is being spread everywhere. But Lord will remember that the heart of kings are in the hand of the law. Your word says you turn it with us wherever you will. And so tonight, this our Father, we present before the throne of grace the heart of our Christian leaders in Africa. The Father, you will touch them. The Father, you will breathe upon them that they might embrace the true gospel, that they might embrace the truth of your word. The Lord, your hand will rest upon them and we will present them from from polluting the gospel and from defiling the people. Lord, this is our prayer and this is our adversary. That the fire of refinement has begun in Africa. The Lord you will be arrested into this fold of, of liberating humanity. We pray that we pray that you will visit them in their dream, you will visit them in the daytime, you will visit them. The Father, you will open their hearts to the truth, you will open their hearts, you will open their hearts that they will become. Genuine custodian of the true gospel. This is what we pray for. This is what we desire. And Father, we believe the Lord, the what you have begun, you are going to finish it to the glory of your name. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. To be established in our glory and honor be to your name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 It's an honor of ages. Again, we are grateful for your loving kindness. We're grateful for your mercies. And we thank you particularly for the gift of Jesus to the world and to the body of Christ. By the means of Jesus, we have come to the knowledge of the truth. We come into salvation. Oh Lord, we bring before you as many that are professing to follow the Lordship of Jesus, that the Bible refers to as sheep. Lord, I pray for us as sheep. I pray for the membership of the body of Christ in Africa, that Lord, you do a new work in our hearts that it will circumcise our heart, that it will circumcise our minds, that, oh Lord, by the means of your Holy Spirit, you will circumcise our ears. Lord, that our ears will not be accustomed to the truth, that our spiritual taste board will be reworked in such a way that we'll be so accustomed to the truth that when we see or hear or taste or perceive falsehood, we will recognize it from afar. Amen. So that we can flee from the appearance of such. Hmm. Oh Lord, I pray that you see of renewal across the entire length and breadth of Africa, particularly within the body of Christ. That now that men are coming to the knowledge of Christ and, and accepting and receiving him as Lord and Savior, oh Lord, they will be established in the truth. May we become, oh Lord, uh, 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 you know, so 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 adjusted to the truth, so accommodated to the truth, that Lord, there be no room in our hearts, there be no room in our lives for any falsehood. Lord, I pray that you open the eyes of our understanding. Grant also, Lord, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ, which is the truth. That Lord, as we imbibe this truth. Lord, as we hear the truth, we will fall in love with the truth. We will live by the truth. We will be guided by the truth. 
that the truth become our thought pattern and that our thought pattern will always follow the truth. Lord, I pray that by the means of the truth, set men that are presently in any form of bondage to falsehood. Lord, let them be delivered by the force and the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. We ask, so God, that as we do this new work, Lord, will bring us to that level of maturity where we can also now begin to disseminate the truth to others. As we receive the truth and we are just and we are establishing the truth, Lord, may others also, God, begin to see the truth in us, not just to hear from us, but as we live the truth, may they begin to see the truth in our actions, may they begin to hear the truth in our utterances, may they begin to, to, to see the truth in all that we do in our relationship, in all our transactions. Holy Spirit, I pray that we do a new work to help us get this through. And we take authority over the spirit of falsehood in any way, in any form or shape. We break his hold from over the lives of men and women all over Africa. And I pray, oh God, that Lord, going forward, anyone you call into the truth, Lord, they become agents of the truth. They will Amen. begin to spread the truth. Lord, that they begin to live the truth. Lord, not just teaching it, but leaving it for others to see. Oh, Lord, thank you for doing this work amongst us. Father, we give you praise. Be thou exalted forever. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 As we continue to be in the presence of our Father, I'm going to call on our brother Sunday to pray for an outbreak of evangelism. And we know that the youth and the children are the hope of the next generation. I will call upon my daughter Sophia to pray for the children and the youth to turn to God in Africa. I will then uh, Sister Blessing HGK will pray for GM headquarters that God will continue to use it as a launching pad for truth. And our brother Babs will pray for GM Africa for many open doors and provision. We are yearning to work for God in Africa. We pray that we are praying that God will open many doors. As the Bible tells us, that he is responsible for opening doors. Whichever doors he opens, nobody will close. So uh, Babs will pray on that. It will be in this order. Our brother DK will pray, and Sophia will join, and Blessing will pray, and Babs will pray. So let's join hearts with this as we petition heaven. Our dear Father, we come to your throne room of grace and mercy. This hour with gratitude in our hearts. We also come with the burden of the continent of Africa. The burden of closed hearts towards the gospel. The burden of lukewarmness and false teachings among many believers. Mm the burden of the stranglehold of Satan upon the continent. Our prayer to you this hour is that you give us the land of Africa mm -hmm. from the north to the south and from the east to the west. Give us the people. Mm -hmm. We know that there are over 3,000 tribes in Africa, give us the Messiah in Kenya, the Ibos, the Yorubas, the Hausas, the Fulanis, mm. in Nigeria and other countries, the Airways, the Somali, the Swahili, the Himba, the Tusi and the Arabs. Father, give us their hearts, O mm. Lord cause an outbreak of evangelism among these different tribes and ethnic nationalities in Africa and beyond. Make the hearts of men and women, young and old, become porous and receptive to the good news of 
to the effect that every heart will be yielded to Christ. Mm. Grant that those that know the truth receive divine enablement to kindle the fire of evangelism wherever they are found in Africa. Let there be massive gospel outreaches in the rural areas as well as the urban areas, in schools and other institutions. May everyone run with this fire. Cause every believer to join this chariot, as Apostle Philip did in Acts of the Apostle, chapter 8, verse 29. May this become our vision 2020, O oh Lord, as in Acts 2020, where they preach Christ publicly and from house to house. Mm. May it not be long, O oh God, for this to happen in Africa. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you've given us. Thank you for keeping us all safe and for not leaving us stranded here on this earth with no one to help that uh, you've given us a way to reach out to you um, whenever we need your help and we're reaching out to you today to pray for Africa especially um, the youth in Africa and I want to ask you to help all the kids and um, babies and children that are being stranded right now in whatever civil wars and whatever crazy things are going on that you would protect them if they don't have anyone to protect them and help the orphans and help just all the helpless and that you would just keep them safe and give them your peace because they didn't, they're they innocent. They don't have anyone else to protect them. So like be their father for them. And please also help all the other youth and teenagers and people in Africa and even around the world and that you would turn to you and that they would avoid peer pressure and all the things that go on and all the dangers and bad things that are happening and that they would turn to you and look to you for guidance and be more for you. And please just help all the youth who haven't found you yet and that they would find you and come to faith um, in Jesus and that from then they would bring the gospel back to their homes and that their homes can be turned to you and then spread to the community and spread to their the countries and in all, all of Africa and around the world. And please just help all the just revival and just Bring us your light because we need the light. So please just help everyone in Africa. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sister Blessing. Sister Blessing, can you unmute yourself? She may be having a internet problem. Father in heaven, we'll come before you this evening and we say thank you for the privilege to pray for Africa, for revival in Africa. But I want to pray for divine, especially for the GM headquarters. Our prayer, God in heaven, is that Lord will keep them focused, that everyone there, the board members, every worker, every person working there at the GM headquarters, Father, that they will be focused, 
that they will be permitted. Because, Lord, we are not unmindful of the devices of the enemy who may want to do one thing or the other to take away their attention from the prime set up this ministry. Lord, our prayer is that you will help them, that you keep them focused, that you keep them committed. And the gospel of truth, O oh God, that you have committed into their hand. Father, may they never fail in passing across this truth. May they never fail. I think uh, especially Nigeria is experiencing a very bad network these few, few weeks. Heaven. Our prayer, O oh God, is that your truth will move unhindered, that your truth, O oh God, even will not be hindered, O oh God, by anything, whether be it a financial problem, be it logistics, whatever may be needed, O oh God, for the truth of your word to be continually preached. Father God, in heaven we pray that you meet every need, O oh God, according to your riches and glory in Jesus' name. Our God and our Father in heaven, our confidence is in you, that you who started this good work, O oh God, you will see it through to completion, mm -hmm. and that, Lord, you will never at any point fail. And so, Lord, we pray that everyone, O oh God, at GM headquarters will be committed, that they will stay focused, and that through the ministry you have committed in Okay, Brother Babs, please. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for an opportunity to bring our petitions before you today. We are truly grateful for this act of grace that you have given to us. It is your desire, Father, that unbelievers turn to Christ and believers turn to sound Bible teaching. Already as we speak, Father, we see the signs already. Already we see believers asking questions from their geos, from their general overseers. We see believers already asking, but what does the Bible say they are asking? We see believers already turning gradually to the truth of your word. Mm -hmm. Other strengthen the hearts of this ones so that they may continue and multiply them in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for open doors for GAM. This is your work that we go out and make disciples, teaching them to observe all the things you have commanded. We ask you, Father, to connect GM with hungry hearts, hearts that have been convicted by the Holy Spirit, hearts that yearn for truth, your truth. Open the doors to the high and mighty of the land, to those in government, high institutions, in industries, managers, to the law of the land to open the doors to them so that your word may penetrate in all their lives. Father, we thank you for what you've already started, but we know that it's by your truth working in people's lives that blessings shall come to this land and to Africa as a whole. Father, we know that the cattle on the thousand hills belong to you. We know that you are able to make all grace abound towards GM, so that in all things and at all times, having all we need, 
will abound in the good work that you have for GEM. Father, we ask you for provision for GEM Africa. We ask you to provide for every material, every personnel, every funds required for us to operate in the capacity you desire. Thank you so much because funds cannot be a problem when it is your own work that you have called us into. There can be no shortage of any need at all because you are the one who have led the way and have asked us to be a part of this. And we're truly grateful for the heart here. Thank you, Father, for you are sovereign and we know you can turn the hearts of men towards the call of your work here. And this we're asking you, Father. Father, we have stood still in the past and watched you provide for the needs of GM as a whole. We have been amazed at how you have always continually sustained GM in material, personnel, resources, and funds to always see your work through. You've always been the provider. We ask for provision now for GM Africa. And we know because this is your work, we shall abound in everything we require to see your work come to pass. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 As we continue to join hands and praying alongside with uh, those that have been uh, allocated to pray, uh, I want to call upon our brother, uh, Pastor Morris, who is joining us from Kenya, to pray for great awakening in Africa. And uh, I, I want to turn to Ask uh, Brother Peter, Brother Peter, to pray for political leaders in Africa, and uh, Brother Pastor came to pray for, pray that God would steer the hearts of African people to support uh, His work in Africa, uh, and the. Uh, I, I, I call her, my daughter's Deborah. I thought you could to pray that God would ignite the fire of revival in our own time. Uh, Deborah, to pray for God to ignite the fire of revival in our own time. That would be Maurice and the Pira and the brother and Kim and Deborah. Let's pray in this order. Father God, we bow before the throne of your grace because you are an awesome God, all mm -hmm. able, all present, never changing, a wise God, who loves us with their great love and rich masses. For the reason we worship you today. We thank you, God, because we know that, that you have a desire for people not only to come to salvation, a point of salvation, but also to come to the knowledge of truth. And we know that it's only the knowledge of truth that can bring a great awakening in Africa even as we petition you. And therefore the first thing Lord we pray for is for ministers of the gospel who are sound in doctrine, who have the simplicity of speech, who love your people mm -hmm. to arise in Africa and reach out and preach the gospel to every corner of Africa. Lord, we are so confident that this is your will because we have seen you crucify your own son on the cross that men may be saved. And Africa is part of the people that you call the world when you say that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Lord, we join together our hands with the brothers all over the world and with GM in the U.S. to petition you to reveal the men who can arise in this continent to take out the gospel, to stir up the hearts of men and women all over Africa 
to believe your word, to apply the same word in their lives, to manifest practical righteousness in Africa, that this continent will just not only be known for its dark activities, but it will be known for exhibiting your righteousness, not only in word, but also in action. Lord, we know that you have a good plan, a good will, a good purpose for Africa. And that's why you sent Christ Jesus to die on the cross and pay for our sins. And Lord, you have told us not to consider anybody according to the flesh, because we so considered Christ Jesus and we made a mistake. But now, Lord, you have also commanded us that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for Christ Jesus who died on the cross and paid for our sins, was buried, and after three days he rose again. We thank you, Lord, because those of us who believe in the truth, you are going to enable us both to speak the truth, going to give us favor to reach out to our brethren, and we may that exhort them to live not for themselves again, not according to the pattern of the world, but because you died for us, we also reciprocate by living for Christ Jesus. And Lord, you have not just left us like that. You have transformed us into new creations. You have given us the ministry of reconciliation. You have given us the word of reconciliation. You have sent us into Africa as your ambassadors. And Lord, we are willing to do it because you are our God. And we thank you for favor. We thank you for enablement. We thank you for finances. We thank you for open doors in Africa, that mm -hmm. Africa will not continue being looked at as a dark continent, but Africa will be a continent that represents you on earth. And even the whole parts of the world will feel the power that, that you are manifesting through Africa and know that you are a true God. We thank you because we know you have already done it. For Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> And gracious Father, we are grateful to you again for another time like this. We are grateful to you for your faithfulness, your unfailing love towards us. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity to gather and approach the throne of grace with confidence and that you are always there to hear us. We are grateful to you, Father, for our continent, Africa, we pray for political leaders in Africa. We are where we are, O oh God, because we have failed you, particularly those of us that are called by your name. But thank you, Father in heaven, for opening our eyes to see the truth. And not only to see the truth, but walk in the truth. Father, we pray, O oh God, for political leaders. Have mercy upon them. And even the pastors and leaders, teachers that go to them for material gain and tell them the lies. But gracious Father, I ask that you bring the right people to them to tell them the truth, just like we have seen in the scripture, where men of God are not afraid to tell those holding political position the truth irrespective of what it might cost them. And Father, we pray for the leaders in different countries in Africa and those that are holding one leadership position or the other. That gracious Father, you will help them to come to the knowledge of the truth so that they can walk in the path of truth, so that they can do that which is your will for Africa. Our gracious Father, have mercy upon our leaders in Africa. We have leaders that are not inhumane. We have leaders, Father, that are far away from you. But we thank you because we know that the hands of kings who rule us are in your hands. And just like the wind vane, you can turn them to wherever you, you want to. We have seen you even in the life of Nebuchadnezzar, how you have torn his heart. And Father in heaven, we ask that you have mercy on our leaders in Africa so that the right thing can be done 
so that our country, countries in Africa can be strengthened by the truth that comes from your word. We are lagging behind for many, many years. Africa has become an ISO. And Father in heaven, as we gather, we thank you just like my brother who prayed that the truth that you have started, the good thing that you have started in Africa through JEM. Father in heaven, we have seen the rays of light. We have seen, O oh God, how Africa is gradually coming to the knowledge of the truth and even the leaders. And Father, we ask also that you continue to raise leaders, leaders that will serve your purpose for Africa. That's our heart desire, so that we can live for you, so that we can do everything, all in order to glorify your name. And Father, we are grateful to you. We thank you because we know at the end of it, it will never be too long as we trust you that Africa will be revived once again so that we can have the light in Africa, reaching even other continents. And Father, continue to help our, polit our political leaders, guide their steps, lead them aright. Decisions they will make, oh God, they will make decisions that are pleasing to you. Thank you because we know you are at work. Thank you because we know you are with our leaders. Thank you because we know, O oh God, you will bring it to pass. Because the confidence we have in you, that each time we gather like this and pray according to your will, you do not only answer us, you do not only hear us, but you answer us. And we thank you because we know you have answered us. For we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we are thankful to you for this opportunity to gather to pray and call upon your name. Our Father, we thank you for the privilege that we, you have given to us, the grace that has come to Africa, that you provided truth. You made it available to us. And Lord, even when we didn't know it existed, you located us and made a way for light to come to us. Lord, we also want to thank you for the vessels you used to reach us. Lord, for a long time, Africa has been on the receiving end. We have received Bibles free, we have received books free. We have received tapes, CDs, and different materials free. Lord, this is just the outworking of your grace. We thank you. Because if it didn't come that way, perhaps many of us would not have been able to access truth. For now, Lord, we have accessed truth. It's here. We have tasted it. We are enjoying it. Father, we pray that you will stir up the hearts, stir the hearts of believers who have received truth in Africa to step forward, step up, and support the work. Amen. And Lord, we see that this is your pattern. When you sent out disciples in the early days, you said to them, don't take anything with you. Don't take any money back. Don't take anything. Just go. And they trusted you and they went. Wherever they went, they were provided for. Lord, we ask that the same Spirit will come upon those of us who have received truth in Africa. Our heart are there to take responsibility, to take ownership of this, 
so that others through us may hear also. Heavenly Father, we ask that as you stir up our hearts, the Lord, to give by faith, to support this work by faith, to take steps of faith. To give cheerfully that belong unto you, the silver is yours and the gold is yours. But oh Lord, it pleased you to call the widow of Zarephath and said, I want you to feed Elijah. And so, Lord, we believe that you can use us also. You can use us. And so we trust you, Lord, thus, as you have graciously brought through to us, that you will cause us to respond to this. Cause us to respond to this. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because you have helped us. And we know you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we ask or think. Let it be so in Africa, O oh God. We thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity we have to fellowship with you, with our exalted. Oh, Father Lord, we commit the nation of the continent of Africa into your able hands, oh God, using Nigeria as a point of contact. We ask the Lord, let your revival fire spread wide Africa through us in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, you have been using this ministry mightily. We ask for more strength even in this month. Everything we are doing, oh God, that you continue to use us mightily, oh God, to ignite the fire of revival in the hearts of people mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, for the president, for the government, everybody that is in, lead in a leadership position, that, Lord, you touch their hearts, convict them, oh God, and ignite in them the revival, oh God, cause them to have the desire to know you more, to burn for you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we ask for more mm -hmm. inner strength, we ask for empowerment, oh God, that, Lord, you continue to help us, oh God, to carry this work, to do your will, oh God, not only to Nigeria, but to other countries of Africa in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for the mm -hmm. youth, oh Lord, that you continue you to use them mightily, oh God, that Lord, even the youth that are in jail, oh God, that you use them, oh God, to preach to other youth around the nation in the name of Jesus, that in the upcoming conference, oh God, it will be better than the last one in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father Lord, we say thank you because you know your head and answered us, for in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. As we come to the last uh, segment of our prayer tonight, and uh, I'm going to call upon our brother, uh, the GM uh, Africa director, Brother Joseph, to pray that God will create an immense hunger for truth like never before in the continent of Africa. And for our brother, Pastor Inca, to pray for GM Africa outreaches in Nigeria and other parts of Africa. And uh, I wanna call, uh, uh, it looks like our brother from India is having problem connecting. I will give it over to, to our brother, Dr. Glim, to pray that many churches would partner with GM Africa in every way. And that uh, then our brother, Amechi, Pastor Amechi, will pray for protection, provision, wisdom, guidance for the director, GM director of Africa, Joseph and his family, all the board of trustees and the volunteers and associates of the work that is being conducted in Abuja and around Nigeria. And the... Uh, uh, also, I want to give it back to, to John Cookie to pray that uh, God will uh, provide land, uh, landed property for GM in, in Abuja 
where we can build our office and training center. After that, uh, our beloved sister Debbie, who loves Africa so much, will close us in prayer. Let us join hands and pray together. Uh, Joseph and Yinka uh, uh, and uh, Dr. Klim, Amechi, and the cookie. Holy Father, we thank you. We bless your name because we acknowledge you are the awesome God of the universe. Father, we thank you for the immense revival that is already happening right now in Africa, more especially here in Nigeria. We are so grateful for what you have been doing with Gem Africa and with the Gem Worldwide entirely. All over the world, you have been creating the heart of people and to have an immense hunger for the truth. If, there, if you have not done it, we will not be where we are today. We are grateful. But our God and our Father, according to our word, you says that the heart of the kings are in your hands. As just the rivers flow, so you twist it. We still ask you, Lord, that you will arise by the power that makes you God and to create an immense hunger for more truth in Nigeria, in Abuja, in Africa, and the world entirely. Because we are certain that it is only the truth and its application will guarantee peace in our society, in our, in our lives. We are, there's no truth, there, there will be no peace. We are asking, oh God, that you will create the heart of men and women to love your truth. The, the thirsty and desire to be with you always. To have an, in, an intimate fellowship with you. Divine fellowship and relationship with you. It begins with you, my father. That is why we are asking this evening joining our hands together and crying and calling on to your name that you create an immense hunger for truth in Africa, create an immense hunger in the heart of men and women and the youth in Nigeria, in Abuja, in every area of the world where Jim worldwide has put their feet to God. Let that desire not die. Let that desire continue to grow far to oh God because you alone can draw men to you. That is your word that those your father has given unto you. No one can take them away. Father, draw people. Open our hearts to receive this truth. Let the hunger for it continue to increase. Not only creating an immense heart, Lord, also, we are asking that open their hearts to understand the, 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 the truth that many of us who have been living and applying falsehood will be able to accept that, yes, this is falsehood. I want a change. Give them the heart of humility, for you said that the, those who are meek in the heart, you will teach. In our life, oh God, we are asking this day, be even create that spiritual, a heart of spiritual in, in us, that as we have, as the truth is coming, people are accepting it. We can't do it on our own. Holy Spirit, that is your work to convict people. The conviction is yours. That when this truth comes, their heart will accept it. The hunger, the thirst, let them pant for it. Let the desire to read our the books, to listen to the messages, because they have desire to know. The desire to know is what we make people to open the books and read, listen to the messages. We are asking you, our Father, because we know you are more than able to do it. This 
we are asking today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. 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 Prayinka. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this time for the privilege we have to come before your throne of grace again on behalf of uh, Africa, in particular GEM, Africa. We're praying concerning the outreaches that you have ordained, that you have earmarked, that GEM Africa will embark upon. Your word says in Acts 26, from verse 16, Arise and stand on your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to appoint you a servant and a witness both of the things which you have seen and of the things which I have revealed to you, delivering you from the people and from the Gentiles to whom I send you, to open their eyes that they may turn from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins mm -hmm. and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Mm -hmm. Father, for Gem Africa, we pray that you will raise workers and volunteers and teachers who can stand on their feet, who can stand for you, who can represent you, those that will understand the purpose, what you have in mind concerning the gospel of grace in Africa, even just like the Lord told Paul, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to appoint you a servant, the Lord, you will use Jem as your servant and as your witness in Nigeria and in Africa, both of the things which we have seen in your word concerning your grace and the things that you will yet reveal to us about the spiritual way, the, 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 the Christian way of life, the spiritual life. The Lord you will use Gem Africa to raise men and women, young and old, to understand the Christian way of life. And Lord, we know that in the process of doing so, there will be oppositions here and there. And even as the Lord promised Paul, delivering you from the people, that Lord, you will deliver Gem Africa and its representatives from every form of opposition that are bound to come. Mm -hmm. The Lord, you will help us to keep our eyes on you because not all men have faith. Therefore, O oh Lord, that you will deliver your servant. You will deliver a gem from every opposition that the enemy will definitely raise because of the truth. And the Lord will use gem Africa through their outreaches in Nigeria and in other parts of Africa to open the eyes of people. The Lord, your gospel will be so presented clearly that darkness will disappear and that many in their hundreds, in their thousands will say, once I was blind, but now I see. And that they may turn from darkness to light, the darkness of religion, the darkness of African traditional religion, the darkness of humanism, the darkness of the commandments of man, the, the darkness of the theories of man, the darkness of human psychology. And Lord, they will turn to the light of the gospel and from the power of Satan to God. And that they may receive forgiveness of sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. That they will walk in the liberty that we have in Christ Jesus. That people will know 
the value of the cross and rest. Mm-hmm. We need to turn our wealth. Mm-hmm. And that, oh God, people will not just receive Christ, but they will grow to maturity through Germ Africa, through the literatures, through the outreaches, that they might be worthy of inheritance among those who are sanctified. And that, oh God, we will not compromise, that Jehovah will not compromise for anything, the simplicity in the gospel. That the banner of salvation by grace alone, through faith alone, may spread and cover the whole of Africa. Amen. And that there will be true joy and gladness, even like it happened in Samaria when Philip went there. Mm-hmm. These we ask with thanksgiving in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Brother Kim, it's clear. Dr. Clem, yes. Yes, yes. Father, we want to thank you so much, Lord, for all that we have prayed this hour. We thank you for your presence with us. We also thank you, Lord, because you know that whenever we call, you have always answered us. And so we are convinced that in line with your word, we know that we have come, we have called, and you have heard us. And so we are grateful. Lord, I pray that your grace will keep us. Your power will sustain us. I pray, Lord, that every day you will lead us deeper into the truth. And more importantly, help us, O God, to not just be healers in the truth, to be workers of the talk of the truth that we speak. Lord, I pray that you will also make provisions for sustaining us. In this hard time, Lord, let everyone's need be met. Help us, O oh Lord, to keep our focus steady on the truth, to live for the truth, and to be guided by the truth. Thank you for everything, Lord. I pray again for GM that Lord, you will continue to make this platform to platform to work stronger and to reach further. We just give you praise. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Mechi, for protection, provision, wisdom, and guidance for the director of uh, GM in Africa and family, and the all trustee, trustees and the associates, their collaborators in Abuja and around Nigeria. Let us pray. If I'm not I want to thank you for something and what you have. I want to thank you for your sovereignty of our states. I want to thank you for this great commission that you are giving to GUF worldwide. Lord, we want to thank you for the extension of GUF to Africa, headquarters in Abuja. Under the leadership of Lord Kabaka, Reverend Joseph Akakiku, one of these him up to the throne of Christ, we ask that he, that you endure him with protection, and provision, wisdom, and guidance, and uh, Lord for the tears and uh, the board of trustees. Lord, we pray that there is a you open the eyes of understanding to so the things of the spirit, they will walk worthy of their vocation. Our Father and our God, we pray that you keep them away from falsehood and deliver them from opposition, sir. And our Lord, empower them with all the spiritual wisdom to proclaim the truth to reach out to 
Stefanovic before. And to all the Christian leaders uh, in Nigeria and many other parts of Africa. Our Father and our God, we know that uh, obey is better than sacrifice. As your servants obey your call, none of them will be put to shame, for they have trusted in you. For indeed, we know that the battle is of the Lord, and the victory is ours. We thank you for what you are doing in the life of your servants. But we know that in Nigeria there are if opposition to biblical truth. They will not grow weary, they will not be tired. In fact, they will be strong in the faith. They will be strong in the spirit. And they will learn how to depend on you, Lord, for all decision making process. We love you, we thank you for answer prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother John Cookie. Provision for landed property in Abuja. Okay. We want to thank you, Father, for your uh, provisions. The earth and the fullness thereof belongs to you. And um, the cattle of the thousand hills belongs to you. Gracious Lord, uh, we need a land, land of property in Abuja to be able to uh, establish offices, establish our own property uh, that we will be able to um, develop and uh, use it to your glory. Father, we ask for your provisions. Silver and gold belongs to you, ancients of days, and we ask, O oh Lord, for a very good place that you would um, direct us to uh, where we'll be able to get a landed property. We ask, O oh Lord, for providence uh, um, that you be able to open financial doors that whatever amount the property is, it will be easy for us to be able to um, be able to get the money to be able to pay for that land. Mm-hmm. Ancients of days, we ask, O oh, Father, that you will uh, make a way out. There's nothing that is impossible for you to do, even as we've come uh, in one heart, we believe that you're able to do all things. Job says, I know that you can do all things and no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Father, you know the purpose for which we need this land. It's for your own glory and also to expand the gospel to be able to teach sound doctrine uh, to the people and also bring more people to the light, the glorious light of the gospel of Christ and also to be able to stand in defense of the truth and knock off falsehood and also doctrines of demons. We pray, Father, that you would um, make a way out. Thank you, Father, because we know, O oh Lord, that you've heard us, and we know that you're able, you, that you're able to do all things, and you're able to answer our prayers more exceedingly abundantly than we, we would even, <coughs> that we should imagine. We know, O oh Lord, that you have done it already. Thank you for hearing us, for we ask these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this time to get together. I personally want to thank you for what a blessing it's been uh, to me personally to hear all these prayers, to be united with so many brothers and sisters in Christ from thousands of miles away many of whom are, have been dear friends for years and years. I just thank you for uh, for them and just to hear, hear their hearts, how they stand out from so much of the thinking of the spiritual life in Nigeria. We just uh, pray for these servants. We know that they are going uh, contrary 
to the way of what's going on in the country. And we just ask for you to strengthen them and protect them. We ask, I pray for mercy for Nigeria and for the continent of Africa. I just pray for, I see so much suffering that's brought on due to adherence to falsehood. And it's just heartbreaking to see that. And I just pray also for mercy because when people stand up and they spat off falsehood and then they say, in the name of Jesus Christ, it just defiles your holy name because there are things that you would not subscribe to even for one second. So I just pray for that. I praise you also for linking so many people from long ago. There are so many stories. I could sit here and tell stories for the next 15 minutes of people from 15 years ago, people from 25 years ago, or suddenly you're bringing them all to the surface and they're finding each other and they're linking and they're creating a strong network across the country. And we just pray that that network will continue to grow and be strengthened. We just pray uh, for protection. We realize, Father, this is a spiritual war. The enemy is not going to want to cede one foot of ground that they've had such a stronghold on. And we just uh, pray for strength for the battle and that you would put a special hedge of protection around those out there on the front lines forging forwards. We ask for uh, a, a very successful conference that's going to be held this summer and we in Abuja and we just pray that many will be able to come and that you will uh, bring all that to a successful conclusion. And we ask all of this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you all so much for joining hands. And I, I believe, as you do, in the power of prevailing prayer to continue to petition heaven on behalf of Africa. Uh, I, there is no doubt in my mind that revival will sweep across the continent of Africa. No doubt. It's a matter of when. Whether it will happen in our day, that's exactly what I'm praying. That's what we are praying, that it will happen in our own time. That we've heard it, we have heard testimonies of uh, revival in the past, the Great Awakening of the 17th century, revival, Great Awakening ways in the United Kingdom, in revival 50 years ago in, us, in South Korea that turned the nation upside down. God has been sending waves of revival. And so I'm confident that he will send the wave of revival, but my prayer more intense is that he will send it in our day so that we will live to see it life. Again, continue to pray and uh, by God's grace, until we meet again next month to join hands again in praying for our brothers and sisters in the continent of Africa. And for those of you overseas, good night. And those in America, good afternoon. Bye, y'all. <laughs>